All right, guys. So again, we're gonna test them on the bench here. We're gonna give them a little tap of the rubber mallets on the top of the valve stems here. Make sure they're fully seated. Once they're fully seated, we're gonna do a water test on these valves to see if they're leaking water through there uh, by filling the intake ports. We're gonna do the intake port first since we found the intake uh, valve be the problem on this particular engine. So I'm gonna test the intake side first. And this is six, five, and four. So all you gotta do at first is just fill each one of these ports with water and then if there is no leaks we can do a pressure test on the bench here also to see if we get any bubbles up through here and uh, go from there. So we'll do six first. Just fill it to the top. There should be no water leaking from those valves. There should be enough spring pressure and, a, and enough of a perfect seat to uh, easily seal that up. Now as you can see, number six is the absolute worst, five is the second worst, and then the uh, number four is just got a little bit of a dribble. Um, these have some mileage on them, ideally, when this comes back from the machine shop, I should not see any leaks at all um, when I fill these up. Now, if you weren't getting any uh, water leaks past the valves here with our water test, what you can do is put air, compressed air, around the actual valve here where it, it seats, and we can try to find where it's leaking on there and we'll see air bubbles up here in the uh, the port that's filled with water. You can see them there that fill with water. And something like this. Should be able to see the air bubbles. Right there, you see it? That's the point of leakage for that one. And this one you can see it's leaking from here and here. Pretty good. We're leaking again. Let's test number four. This one, this one's starting to wear and have a compression loss, but this one showed a slight compression loss, and this one was down 6%. So that's why we're getting the biggest bubbles from this one. And that was our, these two are misfire cylinders, especially number six. A little bit on four. So we already knew that the intake valves were definitely leaking when we did the air test on the car uh, at the beginning of all of this. But it's nice to see the amount of leakage and go all the way around and watch for those bubbles and to see regular weepage right here um, before and after uh, machine shop work. 